Hey guys, um, what's going on? It's Irish Shadow. Um, I'm here today because I need to kind of explain what happened with um, The Old Hunters Part 3. Um, so basically, I want to start off by apologizing for how bad it turned out. Believe me, that was not my original intention. It did not look that way um, post rendering. Like I, I watched it before the whole video was rendered, and then after it was rendered, I watched the finished rendered part, like the finished rendered video, and the video was like 28 minutes long. Um, there was like a whole section. Most of what you see in the video is is good because it kind of gives you an idea of uh, like a quick way to get back to where I was. Like it's just easier because now I know that there's that there is a um, a light post or a lantern right outside that big like bloodied area where the boss is um, I'll, I'll talk about the boss m more down the line um, the audio unsinking I have no idea what that was because the audio was perfectly synced before I put the the video file into the YouTube upload system I have absolutely no idea and like this was the first time using Sony Vegas and I don't think I'm gonna use it ever again because um, for like pretty much for 90% of all the videos I make on this channel I use the um, PlayStation 4's share factory like it's not a big secret it's easier it's easy for me to use and I've been trying to branch out away from it and it's like the one time that I actually got away from it was the one time I got fucked over so hard because it was supposed to be a fucking 28 minute clip and apparently half the clip just disappeared because it basically left me with 12 and a half minutes worth of footage which is like pretty much almost half of the video is just fucking gone now and um, I don't have the footage anymore so like I can't re-upload it and it's kinda shitty it's kind of shitty like I do not understand what happened it doesn't make any sense it had to have been some kind of issue with the YouTube uploader because like I've never actually used it like use the YouTube uploader I've always had to like I have always uploaded my videos from the share factory which means I don't have to actually transfer the file into the YouTube uploader and then upload it. I basically just upload it straight from my PlayStation 4 to you to my YouTube channel because it's just so much easier for me. The only problem is with that you can't actually get like 1080p quality and that's one of the things I've been trying to increase is um, is getting like higher quality and like even even Sony Vegas the video that came out it just does it doesn't look any more like high quality than what I usually put out like it's the same it's like 720p quality so like I have to actually work up the the money to build an actual PC because I have like a, I have a laptop it's not a gaming laptop like I don't really I don't really even care for a gaming quote unquote rig to make the the neckbeards happy 
Um, no, I just have a a laptop. Like I don't need a fucking four thousand dollar PC to game on because I don't game on PC because to me PC has nothing worth gaming with. Like there's no games on PC I 100% have to have. So it makes no sense for me to have any fucking four thousand dollar PC. I just haven't gotten around to do it because I've been saving up for other things and with the the winter coming I'm planning on actually going out of the country sometime soon I don't know when but relatively soon but I will eventually get a um, competent PC at some t at some point I'm not gonna rush it because I, I really don't care like I don't do this for a job like I have a job and I, I make a lot of money from my job so I'm not really concerned about doing videos on YouTube for money or for views I don't I don't really care like how many subscribers I get it it's it's this is just a hobby to me um if this was a full-time job I tell you right now I'd be losing my fucking mind because there's nothing that that I hate more than being confined to doing this one thing with no actual human interaction. If I don't have human interaction, I get fucking pissed. And it's not a good thing. So, like, I'm happy that I actually have a, um, a job outside of doing this where I actually make a decent amount of money, whereas I can afford to live comfortably. Um... I'm not going to give out any information on what I do because it's really none of your guys' business. But, um, yeah, enough about all that shit. I'm, I'm actually going to briefly explain everything that was missing from the video of which footage is gone. You won't be able to get it anymore. Um... Okay, so when the video ended, I basically found that um, that shortcut back to the main starting area of the old Hunters DLC. After that, I actually went back and um, I grinded a few levels and then returned to the Hunter's Dream and I actually upgraded my, uh, my sword like the the big sword I, f I forget what the f fuck it was called but then I returned to that big room and like in that small little tunnel and I actually met the very first boss which there was like kind of a weird v opening video for that that boss which it was kind of cool but at the same thing it, it basically just was like here's what the boss looks like and it's like what the fuck is that it looks like a head a horse head with um a bunch of gangly arms so i tried fighting that it was like lawrence the heavenly blade i don't know i for i forgot because it's not in the video so i remember fighting it and then basically it killed me and then i went back and I tried fighting it again and it killed me again so I went back to the hunter's dream and I buffed up that that sword as much as I possibly could and then I just basically saved it and that was the end of the video and now I'm gonna use the regular uploader that I have and I'm gonna actually edit together a video like it's fucking five o'clock in the morning right now I am pretty pissed I'm pretty pissed at how it turned out but I'm actually going to stay completely awake and I'm going to drop you guys another video today another video on Bloodborne that I haven't even edited yet I have all the clips I'm gonna edit them all together I'm gonna make it into a video and I'm gonna upload it for you guys today 
after this video. Because this shit has never happened before. And I am going to do my best to make sure that shit like this never happens again. And sometime down the line, I will get a capture card and I will start making better quality videos with an actual PC. Because I don't know what the fuck happened. Everything was fine before I put it into the YouTube uploader. And then it just all went to shit. So on behalf of... To everyone who has watched the video. I apologize. I'm sorry for... The technical hiccups. And I will give you guys... A better quality video. Right after this video. So... Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you again next time.